All right, West Round, running back for good counsel. A big week for you. You're playing the chess week bowl here this week, and you've been recently named to the Under Armour All-American game. So first, tell us a little bit about what you hope to get done this week in the chess week. Bowl. To get back into my rhythm, pretty much. Yeah, everything back to how it used to be before the season ended. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I haven't been doing anything but lifting, no running, because of the program I'm on right now. Mm -hmm. So. Hopefully, we go out and practice. I feel the same, pretty mm -hmm. much. What kind hoping of, to get warmed up for the game. Great. What kind of program are you on specifically right now? What are you focusing it's on? It's just a, like a mass build workout mm -hmm. that I'm doing that I can't run until I'm done. Okay. A tight workout, which is for three weeks straight. Okay. So, so what's the key focus of that? that just thing? getting up, doing it constantly every time the day is scheduled. Pretty much. That's probably in the morning. How many days a week? Oh, oh every day. Okay. So only day. Only day you get off is Sunday. Okay. And what is your current height? Six foot two hundred. Six foot two hundred. Okay. When you were named to the Under Armour All American, how big an honor was that? Take us back to that. Yeah, day. It was a big honor because I was hoping to get that for the Army game because my mom wanted me to play in one of those so mm. she could sit back and watch it. So, pretty much. When did she tell you, you she wanted you to play in my game? Was that a few years ago or just this yeah. year? She didn't find out until my eighth grade year that they were running that games. So I told her I wanted to play in it. Oh, okay. And I always talk about I wanted to be in a movie, a football movie. There you go. She got one of them going. Yeah. So, <laughs> so will Hollywood be your next step? <laughs> if it all don't work out, yeah. probably. <laughs> okay, now how do you look back on your senior year at Good Council? What do you feel you improved in the most? What jumps out about it most for you? My character and attitude towards school and others around me pretty much more respect for elders. Mm. Can you give us an example of how your character shined this year in, in those regards? Was it in the classroom where it's a leader for the team? Classroom, on the field. When, when I would mess up, I'd make sure I sit back and realize and remember that it's not nobody else's responsibility to take mm. responsibility for that but mine. So okay. living it up to that has basically been the main focus of everything. Mm. This year. And, and how do you feel your football went for you this year? You're running it all. I mean, completed my most goal that I wanted to complete, which is get more yards than I had sophomore year, mm -hmm. which I did. So that helped me to relax my mind a little bit. Mm -hmm. Finally, my decision was to go to college. Mm -hmm. What was your yardage total again this year? 1382. And how many touchdowns? 22. 22. You played with a sprained ankle for a little while? For like, a, okay. I only played for like two games. Okay. On those no two games, I only played the first half. Okay. I scored the first touchdown in both. But then a couple of players that tell me it ain't the same because they know how I run. Yeah. Because I like to stay out. Okay. But I would take it as a punishment because like, I don't feel it. It's like, but that's what they're saying. So I, I took responsibility for that. Okay. Well, so, you, okay, you just mentioned colleges. Where do you stand right now? What is your thoughts on Mike Boxy coming back to Maryland? He's a local guy. I know from what I understand, he's trying to get all the locals thinking about Maryland again. What were your thoughts on that? I mean, it would be great to get everybody that isn't committed right now to come or to go to Maryland to keep the talent in state. Because I looked at most of the rosters in colleges is pretty much from players that are in state. Mm -hmm. So it was like Maryland's never like that. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I was leader. Okay, are you gonna take an official of Maryland in January? I mean it it can be possible mm -hmm. but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Where would you rate them right now in the whole college picture? I mean they haven't been in my picture for a while mm -hmm. because it's kinda of too close to where I grew up. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm I wanted to get away from it but then again I always wanted to give back to the community, so maybe it might be a good idea to stay home. Oh, okay. So, I don't know yet, for sure. Any idea of a time frame when you want to make your decision? <laughs> Either at the Anoma game or after. Okay, when do you head down to Florida for the camp and all? After the game. That's what just became 30 for the number 30. Oh, yes. Okay. And when you say keep everybody home, who do you mean? Are there other guys in this class you'd like, like to see join you? I mean, just like the people from Maryland that, that are highly talented, highly rated, mm -hmm. or lowly rated, just highly talented, mm -hmm. stay home and help 
Maryland who have been struggling to bring them back to where they used to be in 2001. Okay. And what do you think of the staff, Randy Lansford and Maryland, and him now uh, handing Loxley to the next You knew Loxley I mean, from New Mexico. Loxley, a great guy. He's having a good game, as well as Coach Etzel. Mm -hmm. The thing they have in common that gets them to gel together in their community that they're in is they're concerned about the children's education and their mm -hmm. lifestyle. Pretty much helping them get that degree first. Mm -hmm. And when you see the depth chart at Maryland as opposed to other schools, does they even jump out of that running back there? Yeah, it does. But the thing that changes my mind is just being close. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, pretty much all the schools I've chosen mm -hmm. to be in my top that I'm looking at have this have a similar mm -hmm. but not better like situation mm -hmm. than they do. Which school are you now in your final next? Miami, South Carolina, um, Colorado. And pretty much that's it. Okay, Maroon is in that group. They can get in. They can get in that group. It's possible. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Wes, and what are, you, what are you doing this winter? Any other thing beyond just the train? Uh, Anything new and different in your life? No, nah, I'm just going to train, get my body focused on what I'm trying to reach and obtain mm -hmm. in this life that I can. Okay, oh, and just ask you, your mom wanted to see you in one of those all-star games. Has she put a bug in your ear about where she'd like to see you for college yeah. or anything like that? Yeah, but she didn't want me to announce that because oh, okay. I was like, that's weird. I didn't think you'd think about a college like that. Yeah. But then again, she told me she don't really care because hmm. wherever I go, she's going to be happy. And there's nothing she can do about it. Just, I'm the one who has to be there, so she wants me to be happy there. Right. So, okay, Wes. Well, thanks so much for your time. Good right. luck this week and good Thank luck you. in Florida next week. Thank you.